Okay, here we are in the Russian Civil War, the beginning of turn three. Um, we're beginning to see some alignments forming. Player C and player D are completely committed to white and red as before, but we're seeing some more uh, positioning elsewhere. Let me go over some of the major events that happened. Players B and D combined to destroy some of the white uh, forces that I believe F had. And, uh, what is that? B and D. They picked up some white units each. Uh, C uh, managed to wipe out a few reds, both there and in Orel. Player A took his last, his late turn to position himself uh, on the rail lines, but also where some troops were forming. B also did that, protecting his red unit uh, down here with a white unit. Just not really a protection, but uh, because that white A stack could still move in. Uh, we're seeing the checks slowly disappearing. The British withdrew completely through a random event. We also saw some plagues which killed a bunch of units, put them in the unassigned box, and that's some of the units you're seeing on the board. Uh, fresh units that weren't necessarily killed in combat. Um, Siberia is still mainly, as was the Japanese, holding powerful position there. Um, I think we got the gold down here, which has allowed uh, a big Ukrainian unit to come under seize power. And we got Lenin and Trotsky collected here with big units, uh, which have the Tsar with them. We had no purge this time. Um, D has to be involved right now because uh, whatever purge jits there are in the cup haven't come out. And well, Actually, no, he didn't have to be. Uh, there were nine, nine votes, which is enough to form the Central Committee outside of his six. But an agreement couldn't be come to how to divide the spoils if they came up. Um, there was a consideration of attacking him. There was also a consideration of continuing to attack B. That, that's kind of the problem is B was weakened. Uh, everyone except D has a strong non-red uh, position. F, for example, still has those poles. We're actually protecting his red units. That's an actual protection there. Nobody can get those red units. Um, well, greens could, if there were any greens to attack them. Uh, and that's good, because there isn't much there. Um, but the, uh, the other players all have a strong white component, except for D. And B's powerful position makes them uh, a difficult choice. So the fact that D kind of uh, screwed everyone over by grabbing a polybro marker has made it much more difficult to purge. If they had pulled a couple of B's leaders, things would be more even, not necessarily saying what would happen. I don't know, because clearly the advantages are, uh, you know, granting someone the spoils of a purge is a painful, painful uh, opportunity. B is so far in the lead in terms of military presence, though, they're going to have to come to some sort of agreement, or we'll see. <laughs> uh, especially since he has this big white stack here and another one here. Uh, he's got decent forces across the board. Near the end of the third turn, um, the alignments are pretty much falling out now. Uh, we only have a couple of players who are not red or white. B, of course, and uh, E. Now, um, the biggest area of interest was over here, where uh, Lennon actually was killed, as was, I believe, Wrangle. We're seeing, uh, yeah, we're seeing the wrong thing. We also had an assassination take place to try to prevent an attack from happening on uh, Wrangle, I think. Um, but we're seeing a real collection on points there uh, happening. We got a B has a strong white presence still. 
uh, although they do still have the Tsar over with the Reds. Of course, they could do a handoff there if they want to, and they may, because with Lenin dead, it means, and I got this marker to indicate that, it means that none of the red units are going to go back on the map this next turn, uh, which puts them in a much weaker position. Um, I think the checks finally went away. Got this guy picked up the points for him. And, yeah, largely, uh, it's looking pretty bad for the Reds at this point. Uh, we'll see if they can survive. After such a bloody turn, I wanted to give a, a quick view of what's happened uh, just in terms of where the troops showed up after the battle. Uh, and we've got uh, some new white and green units throughout the Cossack region. we got whites, some new greens in the Ukraine, and then up in the Baltic areas we've got replacement troops. Just to give an idea of what, what what's appearing and what's not.